the promised land. For as long as I remember, my family has been afraid. Afraid of soldiers, airplanes, bombs. Every shelter we've been to turned out to be unsafe. Kids, kids, come in! Kids, What's happening? We have to pack our bags. They're dropping bombs. We were able to get a small room in an old prison, serving as a refugee camp. We had to wait in line for hours to use the phone or internet for just a few minutes. Go. Next. I got a message from your friends in Sweden. Hi. We're in Sweden right now and it's really cool. And we've got all new stuff. Even our own microwave. And a coffee machine. I've even got my own cups. Doritos, they have yeah, cola and this and cola and so much candy and everything. Yeah, we've got so much. We even have a toilet and it's just amazing. School is great. It's so beautiful out here. It's so awesome here. Just look around. We even have ducks. <laughs> There's sunshine. And we got ourselves some new coats. I hope you're all right, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Let's go there, mommy. Yeah. Well, why not? Please, please, it please. sounds so. It sounds so nice. We're so lucky. How are we gonna get there? I think there's only one way. Walk. Walk. So Sweden, it was. We walked and walked and yeah walked when we had to cross the sea it got very dangerous but there was no other option left finally we arrived at our destination the swedish border but it wasn't quite what we expected wait aren't those our friends you guys oh hi, hi. What are you doing here? Sweden is there. You're supposed to be in Sweden, rich and wealthy. Yeah, something yeah, went wrong. You're supposed to have cola and Doritos. Yeah, that's not really the case. Yeah, last time we actually had Doritos was about two years ago. Come on, explain what happened. Yeah, well, maybe we exaggerated a bit. Maybe a lot. Okay, we weren't expecting you to come here. Actually, we were a bit ashamed of the steak we were in. Yeah, we were so ashamed. We made a lot of details up. So you're not going to school? No. Do you even have a house? No, the guards wouldn't let us in. Good dog, Svenska polisen. Vi ser a papper. English? Can we please see your immigration cards? I need to go to that point. Those are, are the refugees overseas. Okay, I'll register them, but I have to body search you anyway. Next. Yeah, you're fine. Next. Look at these poor kids. De ska ta över våra jobb och de pratar inte över våra tal. So what do we do with them? I'm sorry, I can't let them in. They look suspicious. We're so sorry, but 
We tried so many times, but they just wouldn't let us in. Well, there is a bit of hope. There is hope. hope? Well, there is a group of people in Sweden already, and they're trying to help us. Tomorrow we meet (laughs) them at the gate. They might help you guys too. Hi, we're journalists. I'm Ashwini, she's Magdalena. We're here to help you. I had a look in a book and I found this article. It's a book about children's rights in Tunisia. It says that children who are born in a country should be treated the same as children born in a different country. Let me check that. We are gonna make a video about you so the Swedish government can see it. They might want to help you after seeing the video. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. And so we did. Okay, three, two, one, action! This time we made a video about the real story. Thanks to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, we were lucky to get into Sweden and start a life without war.